All right, Mr. Telefero, how's everybody doing out there? So the media and fans have been hard on Giannis Antetokounmpo. This is the first time in his career he's feeling this treatment. All right, Giannis is going to win MVP in about, what, a month or two? He's going to win the MVP award. And congratulations to him. He had a phenomenal regular season. In the regular season, Giannis can get off. He averaged 27, 12, and 6. Like, think about it. In the regular season, guys ain't waking up every game. I mean, guys ain't really focusing in defensively. I can argue that most guys in the NBA don't really zone in until like March or April, right? Right around the playoff start and the team's trying to make that playoff push. Man, Giannis was able to, he's so athletically gifted. He's just able to bulldoze his way through and he's hungry and aggressive. Man, Giannis is able to, to just put a whooping on them boys in the regular season. And he did that this year and won MVP or is going to win MVP. So congratulations to him. In the playoffs though, when you face a real team, and I already told y'all like Kawhi Leonard is a real defender. Like when you face a guy like Kawhi, Giannis just ran up to a guy who's better defensively than he is offensively. And unfortunately, uh, Kawhi's game is a little more matured than Giannis is in right now. And, and the Raptors came up with a strategy for Giannis and it worked to perfection. And after game two, we, we really didn't say a lot of good about Giannis Antetokounmpo. Now, with all this backlash and his criticism that has come the Greek Freak's way, he did do an interview because he walked out um, after the game. And I get you're frustrated, but don't walk out on me. If you decide to do an interview, just get through the entire interview. He walked out on the Bucks uh, as they were doing their, you know, end of the game interviews after their game six loss to the Raptors. He walked out on Chris Middleton, left his teammate hanging. hanging. I ain't like the optics of that. And also, if I'm Chris Middleton, I'm a free agent to be. Uh, don't just be doing me like that. I can go play with LeBron. Forget you. He'll pass me the ball more than you, and he can at least make a jumper from time to time. I'm just saying, like, I didn't like the optics of that. Like, don't you know Kevin Durant's a free agent or something, Giannis? I'll go to New York on you. You know, like, I, I didn't like that. But anywho, he did do another interview, and he spoke about the season that the Bucks had and how he enjoyed playing with his team. He said this. He said, I don't promise we're going to win 61 games next year, but we're going to put ourselves in a place to be a championship contending team for many more years to come. And there's not a lot of teams that can say that in the league. There's what, one, two, three, four teams that can say that? But we're gonna put ourselves in that situation for many years to come. I do love Giannis's confidence. I, I love that, you know? I love when Giannis says things like, I don't wanna work out with LeBron. I don't wanna work out with Kevin Durant or some of the other top guys around the league. I'm doing this on my own. I wanna be the best I could be. I like that from Giannis. I think all that stuff is what the NBA needs, those old school superstars. Now, one thing I didn't like Giannis said, and I, two things actually, I'll call him out on both. Two things Giannis said throughout the season. One, I think he said about a year ago, and then the last thing he said in the season. The first thing he said was, um, I plan on being in Milwaukee a long time. And I remember a young LeBron who had no vision of leaving Cleveland, right? And now Giannis is at that point in his career. He now went up against uh, a, a team with Kawhi Leonard on it. And now he sees, oh crap, this is harder than what I thought. If Kawhi decides to stay in Toronto, if we go head to head in the next five years, I probably could maybe beat Kawhi one-on-one, -on -one, you know, with, in the series once out of those five years. Like a Kawhi led team is going, they're going to give Giannis some problems for the foreseeable future. So now you think to yourself, if you're Giannis, like, damn, what if the Raptors get swept by the, the Warriors? Then we know we're not even close, right? Like, he's got to start thinking, damn, I, I committed myself to Milwaukee. I always said that I wanted to be here. And he's not a free agent until 2021. But let's make it clear. Next year is a very important year for the Milwaukee Bucks because that following year will be uh, the year that is the, the last one before Giannis is a free agent to be. So they got to do some convincing. And Giannis now has to kind of, he'll be 27 when he's a free agent, right? Right around that age where he'll be in his prime and he'll need at least one other guy that can put the ball on the ground at all times and get a basket. Not sometimes. Chris Middleton can do it some, Middleton can do it sometimes. Eric Bledsoe can do it sometimes. Brodney can do it sometimes. Hell, even Brooke Lopez can do it sometimes. But he's gonna need a guy that every possession down to win a championship can go get you a bucket. And when Giannis ain't got it going, when he's three for 12, you need a guy. He's learning that. So he committed to Milwaukee early in his career, said he wanted to be there forever. Okay, now, now you're seeing the other side. It ain't just, we win 61 games, we get better every year. 
now you're seeing, oh, this crap is really hard. Also, one other thing that Yannis said, and I'm not criticizing him for it, but I thought it was interesting. Uh, throughout the season, when LeBron went down with injury, it seemed like the best player in the world title was up for grab. And Yannis said, yeah, I ain't really here for that. I don't really want to be the face of the league and all that. I'm cool on that. I just want to play ball. All right, now Yannis, he, see, he sees like how much money is going to be in him losing, right? How many people are into him losing, right? Now, now he's going to be looking around at them big markets like New York, LA, like, dang, maybe I'd rather be on the grandest stage of them all instead of playing in Milwaukee, right? I'd rather be on a bigger market. You know, these deals are really going to come Giannis' way after this MVP award. He ain't just going to be saying Hulu has live sports in a couple months. These deals are about to come in for him. So now he's looking around like, damn, there's a lot of money in this thing called the NBA. I'm not just a basketball player anymore. I'm a freaking brand. And I'm just saying, it's one thing to say you want to stay in uh, Milwaukee long term. It's cool. It sounds great on paper. But ask Russell Westbrook how that's played out. Ask Damian Lillard how that's going to play out for him. Like, I'm just saying, that loyalty to a team is, is sometimes just loyalty to a team, not the other way around. And then on the other side of that, man, you, you say you don't want to be the face of the league. It's easier said than that. Look, now when you're, you see how people come out to boo you and people come out to cheer you and your jersey sales are through the roof and people rooting against you, I right, you sure you don't want to be the face of the league? You, you, you sure you're, you don't want to be the target with all that's going on around you? Like, you sure you don't want to be the premier guy? I'm just saying, man, I think Yannis' perspective on things are going to change and it starts this summer with him and finding out what teammates he will have going forward with him as the Bucks got a lot of decisions to make an NBA free agency this year. Congrats to Giannis. I know that dude's going to go in that gym and lock himself in there for days, weeks, if not months, probably until the season starts. He might just get a chef in there, bring his girlfriend and a chef in there and never leave again. But I know that dude's going to work on this game relentlessly to, to be better than what he was this year. And this year got him the MVP award. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.